Yes. All right, we're going to have Tracy Bean joining us now. Of course, everyone wants to know the forecast for tomorrow. Clouds, sun, are we going to see that eclipse? So let's send it over to Tracy Bean with your eclipse forecast. Tracy, what's it looking like? Things are looking great, and that is a good thing. We were all very worried leading up to this, but things are looking pretty good. In southern Arkansas, you may have just a little bit more trouble, but just, you know, if you can, travel up just a little bit, and we will get make sure you see that eclipse because uh, we all need to see it for sure. Let's go ahead and take a look at our temperatures across the state right now in the 80s and a few 70s across the state. It was a beautiful day with all the festivals and all of our visitors uh, that we do have here in the state. The high across the state was 82 here in central Arkansas and a few 70s sprinkled here and there. But what everyone wants to know is about the eclipse weather, but we're going to take a quick look at this radar and you can see we do have a few storms pa popping up here towards the east of us. We'll talk about those a little bit more in a minute, but don't worry. They are going to get on and get out of here quick, but things are looking pretty good for Fairview high cirrus clouds for us here along our line It'll go a little bit north be just a little bit better and for tomorrow things are looking pretty good. So clouds and storms do push in later tomorrow night, but overall we're looking great. All right, thanks, Tracy. Now it's a big day tomorrow and here at THV 11. We're your eclipse central. We have less than 20 hours to go before the moon eclipses the sun. Anticipation and excitement is growing by the minute all across the path of totality. Russellville, one of the towns with the longest duration of totality is booming this weekend, and that's where we join meteorologist Scott Covert. Scott, how are things going so far? Hey, good evening, Sarah. It has been another fun filled day here in Russellville. Now, Mayor Fred Teague tells me folks from 48 states around the country have already checked in here into downtown Little Rock. Now, as much of a tourism boom as this is, it's also an incredible opportunity to conduct some potentially groundbreaking research. And that's what has NASA's top brass most excited about tomorrow's total solar eclipse. Now, earlier I spoke with Patrick Kane, the research analysis lead for NASA's heliophysics division. In those four minutes, I cannot wait to experience totality. Uh, like I said, I've never seen it before. Uh, it's, I, I can't even imagine what it's going to feel like. And I have a good imagination. So I'm, I'm geeked about seeing how it's gonna go. Now, of course, NASA has folks situated here in Russellville, but they also have teams of scientists in Hot Springs and in Little Rock as well. Now, we may not know the results of those science experiments soon, but what we do know already is for certain good old Southern hospitality has made NASA stay here in Arkansas very memorable. But I can tell you that we have I have never felt more welcome in a town. Uh, you know, we're staying at ATU in the dorms. That's fantastic. Uh, Y'all are taking really good care of us. And I, I have to say, the, the little sidewalk art, you know, welcome to Russellville. We're happy you're here in NASA, things like that. Feels yeah, good. it feels really good. Now, in addition to the folks from those 48 states, there are 12 countries represented here, including France. A team of scientists, astrophysicists, and astronomers from the Paris Observatory, also here in Russellville, conducting science along scientists from Arkansas Tech University and NASA themselves. All right, live here in the path of totality, downtown Russellville, Scott Covert, THV 11 News. All right, thanks so much, Scott. I'm hoping that we'll get those last two state visitors as well. The community of Russellville, they're not the only ones excited about the eclipse. So are the people here in Little Rock. So we sent out reporter Rebecca Brown to speak to a few ahead of tomorrow's big day. That's right, Sarah. We are less than 24 hours away from seeing a total solar eclipse. And right now I'm at the intersection of Capitol and Maine here in Little Rock to talk to people from all over about their emotions leading up to tomorrow's event. Tell me where we're from. Atlanta, Georgia. Washington, D.C. Arkansas is one of many states in the path of totality, and you probably noticed this week an overflow of people here all excited to witness a once-in-a-lifetime event. It's very exciting. The kids are doing remote learning. My office is teleworking, so we get to actually enjoy it in the front yard. Monday afternoon solar eclipse also won't be the first for some. We're really excited. Really, yeah. We haven't, or I haven't seen one until I, I was three, right? 2017. Yeah, so I was about three or four. I like it when it's dark outside in the middle of the day. It just feels weird. 
And for others, the upcoming eclipse has been a great eye-opener of people from all different backgrounds bonding together over one common interest. This is a good example of our need collectively to come together for something that's happy. We've had such horrible things the last few years. And so this is a way for people to come and you're not talking about politics, you're not talking about death or coronavirus, you're just having a party. For most of our visitors, this is their first time here in Arkansas, and they all tell me they plan to make another trip back soon. It's been really good. Yeah. We got Italian ice cream. I've got my playlist ready to go. We we're, couldn't be more excited, and the weather looks like it's going to be great. In Little Rock, Rebecca Brown, THV 11 News. Rebecca, it certainly looks like a lot of fun out there. People are calling it historic, rare, life changing, all as ways to describe what we're expecting tomorrow. And that excitement is building in local businesses as well. A couple local bakeries have special eclipse themed items for sale for the big day, and the owners say it's positively helping them. Over at Julie's Sweet Shop in Conway, they're seeing cookie orders pick up, and over Humble Crumb in Sherwood, it's becoming a challenge to even keep eclipse t shirts in stock. Some out of town visitors visitors have also made their way to Julie's for some sweet treats ahead of Monday. And Central Arkansas is hosting a number of free events this weekend, including an eclipse celebration in Soma in Little Rock yesterday. All of the events are based off celestial themed events such as Astra Entertainment, Nighttime Parade, Artistic Illumination and Stellar Street Markets. People are gathering all around with their friends and family to celebrate and learn about science through the arts. We hope that everyone comes back on Monday for our watch party. We've partnered up with a lot of the scientific community and we're trying to marry art and science and teach folks about the solar system and the total solar eclipse. It's the place in Little Rock where you can come and feel like you're kind of in your backyard, very neighborly and a fun place to be on Monday. And today there are free classes, trivia and live music as well. We have more information on all these free events online. All you have to do is text the word eclipse to 501-376-1111 and we'll send you the full eclipse guide that includes where you can get some glasses if you're a last minute shopper. Again, that's 501-376-1111 and don't forget to join us all day tomorrow. We'll have wall to wall coverage starting on Wake Up Central and again from noon until 2.30 p.m. New tonight, an attorney for the family of the airport director killed in a shootout with ATF last month is sharing video of the moments right before the encounter. We're choosing not to show them right now because of how little they show and lack of context. The lawyer says the first video is from Ryan Malowski's doorbell camera. It's 12 seconds long and shows ATF agents approaching the door in tactical gear and then covering the camera. He says that's where the video stops. The second is from a neighbor's camera and shows the agents arriving in several vehicles. That video is about 45 seconds. The attorney also shared the Malinowski family's description of the deadly encounter. Right now we are still waiting for ATF to release more information about the investigation and we've also asked for any footage from body cameras that the agents may have been wearing at the time. What we know tonight is that the agents were serving a search warrant at the home of the former Clinton Airport Executive Director in the early hours of March 19th. According to an affidavit, there was an exchange of gunfire between Malinowski and the agents. He and one of the agents were hurt in the shootout. Malinowski died from his injuries a few days later. The affidavit says that he brought more than 150 guns between May of 2021 and February of this year, including guns used in six separate crimes. But the attorney for the family says he was, quote, a gun enthusiast and the raid was unmerited. This is a story we've been following for several weeks now. And you can find all of our reporting right now on THV11.com. We will continue to update you as we learn more from officials. And, and it is a gorgeous day today ahead of the eclipse. We've got more information for you, so stand by with us. And again, I think we're going to have an absolutely beautiful day for our Monday. And